we can make each other great and we can walk to the path of greatness. <laughs> Women, rise up in your power. <laughs> Representation matters. We need to sit at tables where decisions are made. We need to do things that are bigger than us. We need to rise up and be the beacon of hope that this nation, this continent is looking up to. We are the solution. We are brave, we are fearless, we are courageous, we are survivors, we are conquerors, we are givers, and we are warriors! You know what? Can somebody get me a dress? Because I want to be a woman so badly now. Welcome to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. Right here in the smiling coast of Africa. This is why I'm smiling a lot today. A big shout out to the guy who composed the Wadamaya song. From Cape Town to Cairo. And let me tell you, one of the lyrics that I love so much is celebrating every African Wadamaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrating every African Wadamaya, Maya, Maya, through Africa. I love and I appreciate every African that is doing great stuff to change the narrative of Africa. And the people that I've always wanted to celebrate is the women of Africa. I wish I could get time to meet every woman in Africa that is doing something incredible to put them out there. This is why I'm bringing a new episode called Women of Africa and also the strength of an African woman. What comes into your mind when you hear the name African woman? Um, strength. Strength. Yes, determination, endurance, beauty, um, ambition. From today onwards, mm -hmm. you know what I want you to do? What? I want you to travel Africa mm -hmm. and celebrate African women on my behalf. I will do that. You know what? Mm -hmm. Not just entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. but women that are doing incredible stuff that the world is not talking about them. Okay. I feel like African women need to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. I feel like African women need to be praised. I feel like African women, I don't know what to say because my mother is one of them and you are one of them. Go check out her YouTube channel, subscribe to it. From tomorrow onwards, you will see Miss Trudy celebrating African women that are doing great stuff on the continent. <laughs> Thank you. Where am I today? I am at Treasure Women Warriors. This is a young woman who lived in the United States for 30 good years and decided to move back to the continent and start a change. What change is she doing? See, where I am right now is a rural area. Listen, I think this is the most beautiful house I'm seeing so far. She was not born in the rural area. She was born in the city, worked in the city, went to America, and she felt like the women living in such part of the country needs to be empowered. Listen, do me a favor, like the video. I'm so excited, man. Share so that so many people can have a piece of this story. We need to inspire more people to get involved. Listen, Africa's problem needs to be solved by Africans. And if she is solving, the biggest problem on the continent, then I guess she needs a round of applause. Come with me as you go talk to this young and amazing woman right here in the headquarters of Treasure Women Warriors in the Gambia. Thank you. We're here to do the work, so let's do this. I know she's already expecting me, but let me tell you something. This house in here feels so therapeutic. I feel like this is the Garden of Eden, man, because I'm walking in between neem trees and I can see my favorite plant in here. I see cassava. I'm also seeing plantain, which means I can still enjoy my fufu in the Gambia. Oh my goodness, can you guys hear the chirping birds? Oh, wow, I love to live here. Jeez. Oh my God! My name is Tumba Dafika, president of the Treasure Women Warrior, a woman-led organization uplifting women to financial freedom to impact their lives, their families, and their communities. I, I don't even want to talk to you right now, but I just want to tell you something. You are amazing. I'm a warrior. <laughs> 
Oh, okay then, I'll say that you are an amazing warrior. That's right. <laughs> it's really a pleasure meeting you. Listen, amazing. I live in Ghana. I started doing research about the Gambia and then your name popped up. Since that day, I've never slept. I'm like, you know, I need to find you. We drove like two hours to get here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why this location? Just serenity, peace, and um, just where our women are. So we like the rural setting. We're country people. And um, this is where our work takes us. And we're nature people too as well. The research that I did about you uh -huh. is actually empowering, uplifting women uh -huh. right here. That's but what right. really inspired you to choose this particular location to inspire women from this area? Were you born and raised in the rural area yourself? No, I, I was not. This is, we're in Kian Kuinala. It's almost in the middle of the country. And it's strategically located because we work with women all across the country. So this allows us to, to live where we work. You see, we could have lived in the in the rural, uh, in the open area, but we will be disconnected from our people hmm. and our the people that we work with. So we want that connection. We want to be part of them. We want to live with them. We want to see how they coexist, and we are part of them. If you say you are working with the people, you want to be around them. Yes. What kind of work are you doing in here? Then? We work with women. Um, as, you, as the name Treasure Women Warriors, mm. we are treasure, we are women, and we are conquerors, we are survivors, we are achievers, we are courageous, we are givers. We work with women to uplift them. We aspire to um, be independent. We aspire to be champions in, in our country, but politically we champion also uh, to be financially independent. We champion to be great uh, mothers and great wives in this country. Uh, we champion to be uh, a very, very critical and important part of this society. So we, uh, our aims really is to be the best citizen that we can in this country. And by also contributing to national development. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Before even I continue my questions, let, let me ask this question, it's very important yeah. to me. What comes into your mind uh -huh. when you hear the phrase African woman? Resourcefulness, power, tenacity, and the possibility and the ability to regenerate. We regenerate, we make everything possible. We, we are able to just, you know, come back to life. Tell me who you are, what's your name and what do you do in the Gambia? Um, I am Kuba Dafeka, uh, president of the Chazo Women Warriors, mm. a network of 7,000 women all across the country. We're farmers, we're commodity traders, um, you know, we manufacture things, we're poultry farmers. Anywhere where there's an opportunity for us to make money as women, we are actually building that enterprise so enterprise development hmm. and um we are um i used to live in the united states i studied in the united states and um now i'm here in the gambia you know i nearly asked you with your accent now i live here in the gambia you know like <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to know you, you lived in the united states for how long 30 years and, yo after living in america for 30 years yes i mean Listen, I, I don't want to tell you this yet, but I have so many African friends who are telling me that, you know what, yes. when I step foot in America, I'm definitely not coming back. 30 years, they decided to come back and live, not living in Banjul, and they're living in a village like this. Everything okay with you? I know, I'm not oh. well. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sometimes, very true. I don't know, sometimes I said maybe I'm not well, but you mm. know, uh, I am well. Whoa. I am very well, and um, this is a beautiful place. I mean, you know, you live in the United States, people live in the country. I think as Africans, we need to uh, make home wherever the heart is. My heart is in the hinterland, it's in the rural area, and this is where we make home. We build our headquarters here, and, you know, we're part of the neighborhood, we're part of the sounds of nature, and we're building communities 
all across the country. To me, that is, that is amazing. Imagine doing something that's bigger than you. Mm. Lifting up communities, building communities, and also formalizing the informal sector that women were in. So this is revolutionary. What really inspired you? What drove you to leave America and come back here then? You know, I've, when I was 12 years old, I remember I used to, because I was not raised my mother, by my mother, my mother died at a very, very early age. And I had this notion that women should never give their children away. So as I, at 12 years old, you know, as I'm going through a lot of things that I'm going through, I said, someday, someday I'm going to be educated. Someday I'm going to be um, uh, successful. And when I'm successful, I am going to work with women so that women will build, um, will, will build their lives so that they will be able to take care of their families and their children. I'm just living that dream right now. Just living that dream. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. And I would love to know more. So this is just an intro. Uh -huh. I don't know if you would love to take me around your garden of Eden. We're self-sustaining. And we run on 90%, um, we're 90% energy efficient. Everything runs on solar. Whoa. Here, the only thing that is not running on solar is the ACs. But apart from that, we are 90% energy efficient and totally run on, on solar. Sorry. Uh -huh. So the ACs are not running on solar? Yes. I'm going to do this for you. Uh -huh. This is a year of charity. Uh -huh. I'm making a company in Ghana uh -huh. sponsor you. How many uh -huh. ACs do you need? Um, I don't know. We can do 10. Okay. <laughs> I declare 2022 as a year of charity. You all know it. So I'm calling upon the CEO of SPS. This one right here deserves 10 solar aces and whenever you are coming i'll come with you so that i'll put that on camera thank you <laughs> that is a done deal yeah okay we are actually harvesting um cassavas so we're almost done um with that but um, there's more here and then of course we have um papayas all across because this um this headquarters sustains itself. So the workers that work here, they uh, pay themselves. They also, uh, you know, pay for the electricity of every expenses. So this headquarters, the Trezor Warrior headquarters is self-sufficient by growing our own food and they will buy, sell it in the market. And whatever they sell, they sustain themselves here and they pay for their own salaries. So we're self-sustaining. <laughs> That's really incredible, but let, let, let me know, yeah. Um, how many women did you start with? Hundred. And now you're three years ago. We years actually ago. launched. We launched here at our headquarters here in Kiyan Queen Ella, and um, everybody came from all over the country to witness it. It was an amazing event, and um, so now we are seven thousand strong and growing, growing and growing. Across the country. Across the country. Who, who qualifies to be part of Fresno Women Warriors? Um, if you are a giver, if you're courageous, if you if you are somebody who wants to build something bigger than you, um, if you want to uplift yourself and you want to uplift others, and you have the tenacity and the perseverance and the determination, you are a Fresno Women Warrior. And uh, so now we have also bananas on the and plant, plantain on the other side oh. as well. And um, I see how you do the more, pap more papayas. Yes, and then also we just planted okra okay. here, and we're going to be demarcating to put more okra there. And we're also bringing um, like animals, animal husbandry is coming. Wow. Yeah. You know what? I, I will. Is it the only farm that you have? Because I would love to see some of the women that are doing. Um, Stuffs in here. Is it possible for you to go and see them? Yes, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Right. We can. And so. we have six farms all across the country, okay. all of them doing you know different things. But the the farm that is in Jami, so we have actually young men and you know some women working there. That's the only farm that we have actually young people that are male that are working there. The one in Burkhama. This is our other farm. Okay. And um, here uh, we have an orchard too as well for Hector uh, in Birkama, Jamisa. 
um, have a, maybe about 1,500 trees and still, you know, planting more. It's like, the is it an organization? Yes, the Treasure Warrior Women, it's an organization. It's an organization. Yes. So it means that the organization is all about farm. Is that the main thing or main function for the organization? No, the Treasure Warrior Men has different branches. This is, agriculture is a branch of the Treasure Women Warrior, one of the branches of the Treasure Warrior Men. We have education, entrepreneurship building, and um, enterprise development. So, but we are very, very big on agriculture. Why agriculture? because we need to feed ourselves, food sovereignty and food security. Africans need to grow their own food and they need to feed themselves. They talk about food um, security. We talk, we're talking about food sovereignty because uh, we have to provide for our people. And uh, mashallah, the Treasure Warrior Women are part of the solution. And we're absolutely providing food for our nation and also for our poultry farmers. So this is fantastic, this is amazing, and we're very, very excited. Wow, I love to feed myself now. <laughs> I would love to feed myself. <laughs> With this? <laughs> ah, I love to feed myself. It's not allowed. Yes, you can. Yes, take, take it, yeah, take it. This is bigger than my head, or my head is bigger than this one. This is one thing I love about Africa. You, live, you yeah. eat everything fresh. Yes. From the farm. Yes. Whoa. And this is an organic farm, so no chemical fertilizers. Everything is organic. We have poultry, so we use the um, the, the the you know the chicken um, feces as, it, yeah. <laughs> as poultry. No, no, I know why this purple looks like this. I was about to ask you, what chemical did you use? No, we don't. No organic, chemicals here. Organic farm. Everything is organic farming w here. Would you say that it's a blessing to be an African? It is more than a blessing. Um, just the land is gold. It's a gold mine. You know, being in Africa and being an African, it's like we struck gold. And uh, we're here in the land of gold and uh, trying to reap the benefits of, of it. You went to America mm -hmm. 30 years. You returned back. Mm -hmm. Do you think, or will you agree with me that Africa is a land of opportunities? Yes, I mean, having the opportunity to live uh, in the United States for over 30 years and living here, um, here is like we're creating something that's bigger than us. You are a farmer? Yes. Do you think it's worth it to be a farmer? You know, it is. It is uh, more than worth it. I mean, to be able to put food on people's table and it becomes some... Food is medicinal. And, and to be able to eat that food and feel good about yourself mm. and, 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 you know, be healthy, it, it's just something that is very rewarding. And I think as a farmer, we don't only look at the monetary aspect of it, we look at the solution we are becoming to Africa. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the youth of today want to sit in a bank, yeah. want to sit in an office. Mm -hmm. Do you think that work, work, I mean, wearing my gears coming in here, at least by the end of the month, I'll be able to take something home? Why not? I mean, every, everybody needs food. Everybody buys food. If you look at it, even just fruits, we have um, over a thousand citrus trees here. Mm. I mean, just the fruits that, that we harvest. Um, if you have one bag of oranges, like one big sack of oranges, mm. um, you can make a uh, Fifty, a hundred dollars from that. Imagine you have how many of them? You have a thousand. If you have a thousand, that's a lot of money. It is. Um, can I, I? You don't have oranges here? Um. Yes, we do. Actually, where are the oranges? Actually, I we, we just we just um, harvested recently. Um. Uh, just for the last couple of days, and I think over there. Let's see. I'm making sure. I have 100 bucks today. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting 100 of this in 100 bucks, and I'm yeah. just going to take it to Ghana. And I'll definitely be a millionaire. I want to know what has been the major challenge that you faced when you established this. It was the mindset. Uh, being able to change the mindset of the people to be self reliant. And, and, and for them to accept that we have to do the work and sacrifice today so that we will be able to reap the benefits uh, tomorrow. Um, you know, people want quick money mm. and um, agriculture is back-breaking work mm. and a lot of people 
are not attracted to that. So just getting the right people, the human resources was a major problem in setting up farms and even the work that we do to bring people together because people want things that are quick, but not to do the work. You started a fund in Biosol. Yes, I, well, we funded, uh, this project here was um, self-funded. Um, yes, by me and my husband, my wonderful, amazing husband, Adam Akar. Big Phil. <laughs> big, big fella, hi. Big, fe <laughs> big fella. <laughs> <laughs> so th this is a dream I had. I sold a dream to him. He bought the dream and, um, you know, we funded the dream. How does that make you feel, knowing that you've made impact in people's lives? Well, you know, very, very rewarding. And every single day we get to pinch ourselves that we, we're becoming a solution. And, and I think as Africans, African problem, African solution. We have six women that came in also in the Trezor Warrior Men. They're funding one of other women too. And we opened a bank. We have a bank now. Whoa. We have, a, yes, at, in Yamina. How, how old is the bank? Uh, a year and a half ago. No, we understand. <laughs> Through this organization, yes. you've opened Through, the bank. Yes, we opened, uh, it's, it's a village microfinance. And what we do, um, we piloted, we piloted, uh, this is our year and a half of piloting it. And our women are doing exceptional and we are looking forward to building women millionaires. And we are actually on track. Just as, <laughs> I wanted to say that we are on track <laughs> to do that. Really and other, other women, women millionaires are coming and wanting to make other women millionaires. So women who are actually trailblazers, they're leading women. They also want to uplift so many other women. We, um, we ensure that not only do they build themselves, you have to build yourself and build somebody else. It's a requirement. So that's why the mentorship part is also another very key important element and part of the Treasure Woman Warrior. Is that tough? Yes, yes, I'm, you see, African, uh, this is why, why you, you just asked me, Africans prob Africa's problems, African solutions. You know what is really great? I'm glad you actually mentioned TAF Africa Global. This actually poultry house was donated by TAF Africa Global. By TAF? Yes. Tough, you know, since you've donated a poultry here, tough. I told you I need just one thing. I mark for my new studio. I'm not leaving Gambia without you. Get See, I didn't even know it. Okay, tough did this. He's an amazing man. No, tough is amazing. He I, is I, amazing. Oh, you know, you know. Let me tell you. I actually, um, when I was this little, mm -hmm. literally, he's one of the people that raised me when I was so little. A round of applause for yes. my boss. Our boss. Ah, no, hey, no. A round of applause for my dad. Yes. You can't say our dad. Yes. No, no. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You can say your dad. Uh -huh. You can't say our dad. <laughs> your, your greatest struggle when you started this. I mean, this is not a challenge, but your mm -hmm. greatest struggle. Something that you close your eyes, you still remember that this happened to me when I was when I started this, and here we are today. When you're doing something, as, as Africans do as well, sometimes I feel like um, we want to watch you either flourish or fail or to see how you are going to, um, how you're going to evolve. But we can do it together. Partnerships, we can do it together. We can support each other. We, don't, we should not let, let uh, others fail. We need to hold each other's hand and we need to be a motivator. We need to be um, the wind beneath people's wings to allow them to fly. We need to love more. We need to give more. We need to be more generous and kind with our words. If you have a message for all African women watching us, what would that message be? The message is the woman next to you is not your competitor, is your collaborator. We need to collaborate. We need to harness the power within women. We can hold each other 
as sisters. We can empower each other. We can make each other great. And we can walk to the path of greatness. Hmm. Women, rise up in your power. Hmm. Representation matters. Hmm. We need to sit at tables where decisions are made. We need to uh, do things that are bigger than us. We need to rise up and be the beacon of hope that this nation, this continent is looking up to. We are the solution. As women, we need to build ourselves to be strong so that our daughters will look at us and build a future that is even bigger, grander, and more beautiful for our sons. And may our sons look at us and may we become an inspiration to them and build them to accept women, great women on a mission. Because I will leave you with this. A woman on a mission has to be with a man who accepts and loves a woman on a mission. You know what? Can somebody get me a dress? Because I want to be a woman so badly now. <laughs> I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. If somebody wants to reach out to you, how did they reach out to you? We are on uh, social media, social media handles. Mm. Um, we are on Instagram, Trezor Women Warriors, T R E S O R Women Warriors, and we're on Facebook, Trezor Women Warriors, mm. and um, we have a, uh, our website too as well, TrezorWomenWarriors.org. So, this is who we are. Email TrezorWomen at gmail.com. And um, I know there's so many people who love to invest in your business. Yes, yes, we join us to uplift and change lives of women. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. My name is Sir Watermaya, the one and only Anonim Village Boy in Ghana. <laughs> I'm out.